All right, everyone. We've had a very exciting day today. The new and very long-awaited patch has been released. And I'm going to be briefly going over the changes and preview a few of the updates in this video. The first one is the Trader Radio Jamming ability will no longer jam the Red Radio channel. So we're safe and we don't have to feel like an idiot three seconds after using it anymore. So that's good news. A more controversial change in my opinion is the ID thieves gaining access to the Red Radio channel when stealing a Trader roll. I feel as though this might make the ID thief even stronger and boost the traders. Personally, I enjoy those games when you run into a player only to realize that they're your new partner. So we'll have to see how this one plays out. On to the next one. All deployed traps now have a 3 second grace period. So you're briefly safe from embarrassing yourself with that freshly placed mine in front of all the survivors. Additionally, tripwires will now slow the player who triggered them by 50% for 10 seconds, which gives this item a great and much needed buff. And even more added to the changes to the traps category, we have the tripwires can now be placed on crates, they are able to be activated slash disarmed by the trap disarm kit, and the bear traps now have a reduced duration against the polar bear, which is some great news because bear traps are very, very effective against animals. Almost too effective. Now off of the topic of traps and onto a very special one regarding the explosive crossbow. Players will no longer be ragdolled by the explosive crossbow's bolts. Holy shit, we're finally saved. This is amazing news. Instead, you'll only be slowed for about 3 seconds as it was before. And it looks like the ice wall is getting a little bit of love here. Previously, the ice walls took forever to channel. Now they've reduced it from 3 seconds to 1 second. Some more good news. The survivor airdrop will now always appear away from the cabin. This will give the survivors a better chance that the traders will not be able to camp them at their drop before they're able to get there. One that is more objective related, players will now drop batteries if they're holding one when teleported by the solar flare event. Here's one I wasn't expecting. Animals now drop twice the meat that they had in previous versions. So stock up on those Popeyes because we are going to be loaded. I mean, look at all this stuff. What are we going to do with all this? This is so much. And it looks like we've complained enough, everyone. The don't deal damage with tools bonus objective has now been replaced by an individual challenge for not using a single type of tool. So that's some good news. Now one change that might be a bug due to it not being reflected on the patch notes is the animals are doing twice the damage. So you have to be careful out there. Somebody save me! Behind me! No, I think we're all going down here, friend! Oh fuck. Oh no! <laughs> Matt, are you able to come by the cabin? One, the well, guys, something. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's check out the new map. No, 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 no. Remember? And you know what? I'm gonna give you a chance. If you wanna skip me, go tell the guy. He's lying. Exactly. I, I won't kill you. What guy? Come to hurt me? No, but I know someone who will. Oh, yeah? Who's that? Uh, Stellar cannot be trusted. I was getting that sense. Because he... I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go get a blue radio. And he's like, I have yellow. He's a little too You may fast. wanna hop in the ride. I think I hear him lurking outside. Run! 
<laughs> Get in the bus! Get in the bus! <laughs> the extra knowledge Jason, doesn't I don't have up. a melee right now. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs>